hello guys and welcome to this uh, new vi new video i wanted uh, to show you uh, games uh, uh, that i i played for a 12 uh, win uh, zero losses uh, run with uh, cambodias that i think uh, you should be playing if you uh, want to to do well in events i think he is pretty strong um I am recording uh, kind of late uh, in the event because I was really low on ticket and so I was scared about doing a, a 10 ticket run but uh, yeah I did it and it, it went very well so uh, I managed also to uh, draft a pretty strong uh, deck um, um, the deck I drafted is um, going to uh, I, I'm afraid I didn't save it so whatever uh, I drafted it uh, with few rerolls it was uh, pretty good I got uh, good drops and so um, let's start so I wanted to show this also because I'm not gonna play Imperial Fists anytime soon so maybe this was uh, a content that uh, could could be interesting for some of you so here we dropped the uh, heavy drops and we drew wars so nice um, make a turret and pass now he has to swing and basically this is the standard uh, opening for this warlord you prevent other warlords from playing their ability now we can simply uh, draw a four cost wire wield i have two of these i have one uh, uh, rhino and uh, the justice gunfried that i actually played once in 12 games because i never draw my legendaries so now we can drop the Verkush Wild Wild, it's the strongest tempo play, we can swing here and make it this one health and we have still have a 5-5 five five on the board and uh, next turn we can come out with turret plus, plus fortified outpost he tanks this, no problem, he has 7 health but we can take it out with uh, both of our, of our uh, units and we draw Kestros, Kestros is uh, very powerful so no problem here play the Kestros, it gives us uh, some nice board presence next turn we can turret and go Ragen spot and have a very strong uh, um, unit on the board also we can turret and outpost in order to uh, shoot for damage actually we are gonna do castros and then outpost this way we shoot for damage and we can attack with our warlord we do not attack with this castros i think yeah because we want to keep this in order to pump up the goragon squad now he is uh, in a pretty rough situation and he's probably uh, gonna lose because uh, he has no way to shift this board anytime soon we, he has two front lines uh, to get through and uh, he has to kill the fortified outpost that is gonna shoot for uh, three damage each turn so it's pretty rough we make a turret and we play Goragon squad and now we have a, an 8-9 for 4 energy with retribution this guy and then uh, we can simply smash uh, with uh, Kestros and shoot 6 damage and next turn he is dead basically so yeah pretty fast game overall and um, oh maybe he was doing a last stand yeah he dropped a perimetal defense though uh, he isn't able to play another one because it discounts only by um, 4 and not by 5 yeah, we swing with Goragen and it's done. Yeah. Kamba Diaz, it's really strong because the ability to pump out turrets uh, means that they, they are necessarily um, uh, they necessarily need to be taken out. So uh, it's pretty dangerous for the enemy to leave this up. You have so many ways to buff. Uh, uh, your turrets and make them more useful so this one was against uh, um, a custodes 
uh, we did not run into um, the guy Valdor and I think this is pretty good because uh, uh, we could have actually been uh, in trouble since uh, we want to put out a lot of things uh, he is gonna kill them and uh, reach the ultimate form really fast and uh, then there is basically no way we can win so now the play is to drop this and smash and basically wait for the good opportunity to build up a board this is gonna do nothing so it's okay now we can play crossbar squad or Garadon plus uh, hero power and this uh, was actually my play because I want to save the front lane from, uh, for a time in which I, I actually need it I do not need to save the one frame uh, so yeah he kills the, the turret now we can play terminators and make another one and make a 3-5 that sticks we have double retribution which is really nice we also got stalwart defenders this card is absolutely broken in event uh, if you see it uh, i would advise you to pick it up it also comes in a pack with a legendary and that pack is uh, really good i think that it comes with uh, the three energy guy now he does a a very good war board wipe nothing we can do about that now we stalwart and make a turret and uh, swing with 2-1 uh, because he's gonna kill it anyway now he has to waste one energy to kill this two energy to kill this and his attack so I'm fine with that trade actually he plays the Ternali squad and attacks this is good for us though we can simply drop fortification mastery plus, plus uh, the crossbar squad this is gonna get stunned and uh, yeah I think that we chose another route we killed that and uh, we played 1-3 uh, Axim of support 1-4 is actually pretty tough to take down without wasting too much tempo now he plays the ecology and sphinx and now we play the crossbar plus fortification, I think. Also we can buff the one of the two turrets to 5 health with this. It's very nice. And uh, yeah, we swing there because we want this to die as soon as possible. This is a 3-5 now, pretty tanky. Next turn we can turret, Goragen squad and um, yeah I didn't like that play honestly uh, we can go with turret plus Goragen squad and get a very big uh, Astartes and maybe we could even have the energy to use the retribution yeah that was okay I mean, you do not choose uh, the packs that much if you are low on uh, on gems. I spent uh, over uh, 4k gems in order to do two events, so yeah. Now we kill everything and uh, the outpost is gonna basically destroy everything he throws at me, because now we need to pass through a... Uh, taunt that stuns him I have an 810 on the board and 3 turrets plus a an, uh, hard removal <clears throat> so yeah I'm not that worried and we drew the Justici Gunfried and uh, yeah this is gonna get really wild okay so some of the game of these games were actually a uh, forfeit. So let's see. This was against Polux. It's a pretty strong pick. I made a 12 win run with it, and then my yeah, 
I fix were uh, very very bad and I made uh, terrible results for uh, 3 uh, 10 tickets run now we can prevent him from uh, pumping out his 2-2 uh, and then we have uh, the best possible curve Castros into Stalwart into Turret 45 and even the Wire Wild so I'm gonna speed this up because otherwise it's gonna take a while now as I said Stalwart hit the, the, the squad and then we pump this next turn we have a turret plus outpost and we shoot uh, for damage this is annoying Yeah, drop the outpost, actually shield cover, so that it makes it harder for him to, to, to take this out and kill this, because otherwise this is gonna get pumped every turn. Yeah, this is very annoying. But I have the wire wild, eventually, to take this out. Yep. The fact is that uh, the Star Wars Defenders is so strong uh, that uh, it actually... I did this because it was the best user for my mana and actually I killed one turret anyway. And uh, Star Wars plus the Fortified Outpost is actually very strong. These are all, are all free health, so these aren't gonna take them out so now we can drop turret castros or a turret and fortified or castros and, F and fortified and now you can shoot this for free i want this to die because he has no more thing to play i think and he is low on turrets, and being low low on turrets means that this is gonna do basically nothing, so we are fine. We have double outpost. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty low roll, and now he kills one, but I have uh, Werewild and Goragen squad, so yeah. <clears throat> pretty bad for him. So... Let's drop turret, Goragen, it's an 8944 energy, shoot. Uh, and yeah, there is no way he can recover from this. Phalanx is pretty good though. But I think this, that it isn't enough. This can give him some extra bulk, but yeah, he is at 11, I have 11 here, so it's dead. So, next one. Second game versus Pollux. We drop these because they are too heavy. I would have kept the wire wild though because I want uh, tempo swings. So drop the one two. Next turn we can drop uh, one three plus one two. And we drop these, and he plays the 2-2, two, two. plus two turrets. Nice. Now we drop the turrets too. 
we build up one and destroy another one we have perimetral defenses next turn and then the wild wild looking pretty good arcamus is almost useless in our deck but still a interesting card to have now he plays another two sentry turrets and this is very bad for us because we are struggling to keep up the pace Castros is really nice but we can play perimetral defenses and actually take out a turret which I think is the better play because this gives us a clear advantage and also a 2-4 taunt is not bad and also Castros can be played with Arcamus uh, to have a 4-5 uh, frontline and for the next turn we have the Wild Wild to, to take out uh, something and actually uh, deal a lot of damage to his turrets and kill them another Castros, really nice yeah, Wild Wild is basically a, it's exceptional here and we can swing for another 2 damage and now he has to take out a turret but he has a 5-5 five five. we have late game, we have mid game, it's fine Stalwart Defenders is literally a bonkers of a card then we play this, play Castros and then uh, we can hit this, hit this and he has a turret and I have three and uh, I have plus one health on everything, so pretty strong. Even this is not gonna recover him, so pretty hard. And now he surrenders okay let's go so Rogaldorn replace the terminators keep the front line because uh, front line is really nice So make this because he has to swing. Now we have uh, three energy supply lines, very nice. Hoping to hit uh, the the bear wild. We have two of these, so it's the highest situation. It's the highest um, chance. Uh, the highest chance vehicle is actually the Warwild, so we're fine with that. We can actually play Crossbar Squad now. Justici would have been really nice out of uh, the supply lines. He plays uh, uh, Frontline 2 with a counter attack on it. Pretty hard. Now I can actually remove the Bastion and uh, play the Perimetral Defenses or the Terminators. I prefer the Perimetral because he has no way to get through two taunts. While getting through one is uh, easier. Gives one. Now he gives Bastion 4 to this. Very good. We dealt a bit of damage, we play in Lord and Terminators. Now he has to push, because uh, it's a bit of an awkward situation for him. He doesn't though. So now we could play Wild Wild. Or actually we kill a Mad. Don't know if this was the right play whatever 
we supply lines too we want a second wire weld this was actually a very dumb misplay and uh, yeah I was uh, uh, I no I have no excuse for that it's pretty bad now we can simply drop uh, justician win basically so we do a bunch of bink bink and then can thread and it's dead basically card is so busted it's not possible that uh, a single hit drop is 15 damage He plays the big wall, but we have wire wild and one of these is statistically calling it face and he dies. So it's okay. So let's go on. Um, this was a um, instant uh, for face, so I'm not gonna show you. This was a game that actually <laughs> was very long compared to the others. So now I started second and this is a big disadvantage. We can play Eximo support and then swing the turret. Then we can build up a bit with uh, Kestros. He hit this. Now we can remove one, play Kestros and count and build up the turret. So we build up Kestros too. So we want we, we don't want this to break anytime soon because we have uh, we have uh, outpost and Darsway eventually. This card in event is not that bad. Allows you to build up uh, really big boards uh, for the Goragan squad. He bunkers the turret. It's eventually gonna die, but yeah. So kill the turret and play outpost and buff this with uh, our little friend. Now, next turn we have uh, um, Darsway, we have supply lines to draw the, the Bear Wild. We can shoot this, we can play Darsway and attack, or we can do a turret and shoot two times. Maybe Darsway was the better play. Stalwart is very annoying because I do not have it and uh, it's gonna make make the game pretty rough. Even if he, if he is so far behind, he, it's totally uh, it can totally recover from this with the Stalwart, def uh, Stalwart defenders. Now we drew the Rhino. We can buff uh, a turret because this is 8 health we make another turret and now he is gonna shoot 6 damage now next turn we have uh, uh, perimetral defenses plus uh, turret we have retribution we have uh, wire well we have a lot of uh, interesting stuff to do this is very annoying because all of these are gonna be buffed by defenders so yeah it's a lot of, of health to chew through. Castros is nice. So, we wire wild. We actually take out one. We can take out one, another one. 
and now we can shoot eight damage and hopefully we will kill something yeah and kill one it's okay he builds up again and this is starting to get uh, scary because even if he is low on health now I, I no longer have my uh, outpost uh, and he is taking uh, resources away from me and I it's making him uh, harder for me to take this out so now we play Jubak because I really want uh, some uh, some resources and some way to keep up with uh, with the board we can also play Darsway for the same reason and actually retribution this because he has two cards in hands and uh, I couldn't think uh, of uh, a very dangerous card that he could pull out except for uh, Gunfried which is a legendary so and by the way Gunfried the biggest thing about him is the the rally effect so this is actually very annoying again because uh, this is gonna make out a turret every turn Coragon squad is really strong though so we make an 8-9 we kill the Kestros and we need to actually uh, start working off these turrets we kill also the uh, Terminator and now we can uh, actually go for his Amelian Architector and these are gonna get buffed pretty heavily and we drew uh, perimetral defenses which is really nice this <laughs> is again very scary and now he kills the Jubak we have retribution which is nice Actually, I could have retribution one of this stuff in order to get the Goragon squad through. Luckily, he doesn't kill this. But he plays a Mount Ferros and is a Malian Architector. Now, these are basically unkillable with uh, the Star Wars Defenders. I'm going to push 8 damage through and plus 2 and actually use the retribution on uh, the Mount Pharos. I have a lot uh, of uh, way to build up. Now um, he needs to kill everything and I need to snipe his face with uh, my turrets. Thing that, that, that I will eventually do but since this uh, part is very boring I will uh, speed up a bit as you can see it's pretty scary and I'm trying to keep up as many turrets as, as possible Th that stone gauntlet was actually very scary now I, I can defend her And then I snipe him. Yeah, not that exciting, but uh, it was a pretty long game. Now we can see this against the custodies. Remove the ten drops. Maybe he surrenders. Yeah, he did. Sometimes this happens, but I take it. Free winning events is uh, always nice. Um, then we have another Rogaldorn. We keep the shield cover because it is nice and very strong on the fortified outpost. As always, drop the turret. He kills this. Okay. We drop another one. This end is not looking that great.
face shield covers okay better on this that uh, on his stuff so okay drop a turret and shield cover it I want to actually to draw something more useful I did not but anyway he does one and actually passes so he has an, an equally bad hand at least from what I can see so we supply lines and you can actually drop Darcy because we have Arcamus in hand and uh, this plus Arcamus actually makes a 4-4 four, four and a 4-5 for two, 5 energy which is nice his shield covers again Aximov support is nice because it's an Astartes so we can actually pump this out this out and then Arcamus or we can actually play outpost as I did and make a turret this is I, I guess is a larger board and it won't focus on uh, my Astartes at all so it's fine Bastion more Bastion yeah shoot this now we can pump this to six and actually play Arcamus and kill this I want to save the retribution actually because I don't know what uh, he is gonna play maybe a big fat he kills the turret it's okay because I, I can make another one with my hero power these are annoying but we have uh, the war wild and you can kill one with this kill the second with the uh, garadon squad garadon squad yes garadon squad then we kill this and then we start smacking his face and we have two tons plus a defender of terra in case he port wipes yeah pretty hard for him to recover from the Arcanus giving plus 4 plus 4 stats plus a 4 5 is pretty big also he has a had a, a really bad early game with double uh, um, bastion up with uh, the card that got the draws what's going on? I think he surrendered here I, I, I think that the game just glitched okay then let's go with another one we are into the final three so another Rogaldorn drop the Justice because it's too heavy 45 is great we have a great curve shield cover nice better on his face than uh, on his things Kestros and then we can play uh, crossbar squad or uh, fortified outpost I think crossbar squad and then fortified <coughs> this is very annoying we shoot here I think with a turret yeah crossbar squad swing so this uh, actually is gonna pump uh, these things up but he isn't gonna uh, uh, he isn't gonna attack and he's gonna take out with the stalwart I play stalwart too so now we are even and I can take this out with the crossbar squad I think it's actually worth it because if he drops a lot of turrets and then, then he attacks I am actually going to struggle to take out these with plus two health, so it's fine. Also, cause I have uh, outpost plus uh, turret next turn. Actually, I have not, cause uh, this is uh, very annoying. But he is stunned, so this is actually comes uh, a lot of my favor, cause actually I can drop the outpost without. Uh, 
um, him able to take it out. And next turn I can go with, uh, yeah, Vorax with a thing that I was not expecting. Um, but yeah, I still have some pretty powerful plays. We have this plus Wirewild. This is gonna keep the Wirewild healthy. And it's a thing that uh, people often do not notice. And since uh, we, the, um, when you attack, the Warwild loses health, but gains Bastion because of the Stalwart Defenders, it's actually a very nice combo. Second Warwild, because we want to lower this. We can attack here and make a turret. We are not attacking because this is gonna die next turn anyway and uh, we want to make a turret because it's 3 alt and not 2. He plays his Warwild. Nice. We can actually retribution his stuff now. We heal fully this. And now we can play Garadon Squad, we can play Goragon Squad and 8 9, and then we have Retribution for War Energy, and then we swing. And it's very hard to recover from a tempo swing like this. I healed my stuff, I played an 8 9, I killed his only good troop. Yeah, it's pretty rough. This guy is awesome in event, and also I think that will be pretty good in uh, uh, in constructed. Also, Goragon Squad is very very powerful. Yeah, I heal this, so this doesn't die. This neither. I don't care actually about losing uh, my Garadon Squad. And I swing his face, and then we can play the Terminators for more. Uh, uh, push and then he has to take out these four, 2 health and 4 health plus a 9 health Goragon squad then we have this and the last game against Sigismund very strong world on Sigismund, Sigismund I think that the fact that he has uh, an extra card compared to Dorn actually pulls him a little bit ahead just a tiny bit. I think that when this is gonna come to leather though, uh, it will be a different story, completely different story. This card, this, this warlord is very interesting. Because sentry turrets are very annoying, uh, to say the least. Also, um, for all of you that uh, are interested, I'm gonna cover um, Sisters of Silence, I think uh, tomorrow or uh, uh, at Saturday, uh, but I think tomorrow I will uh, actually um, do some testing with, their, with them and then uh, I will uh, try to give you my thoughts uh, about the, the faction as a whole. Yeah, we did not have a great uh, way to play this out. I don't want to drop a mud on empty board. This is annoying. But we have uh, some pretty powerful plays as well, so it's fine. We drop this, and we drop a mud, and we can swing. Now, this is gonna pump out stuff. And actually he snipes it, so it's not gonna pump out anything. But we have still have a 3-3 three, uh, three with Bastion that gives Bastion. And the fact that he gives a Bastion is actually very powerful now. We play Kestros, and I think we play the Outpost too, yes. Then we swing there. And now I think that he wants to push.
but he actually doesn't because he has a, a terminator on his side this is annoying actually very annoying So yeah, we have Werewild, or we also have Phalanx, we have uh, a lot of stuff, we can play Perimetral Defense. We actually went for Phalanx because I want to kill this, and Phalanx is gonna keep him check. Next turn I can drop Perimetral plus, plus Outpost if this dies, and it's gonna shake things up a little bit. I'm not actually caring a lot about this being uh, pumped. Waterwild actually kills this and lowers this. Make a turret, swing face with one of them. I do not like with, to swing with both. He is at, at 17 without me actually doing nothing, so it's hard for him right now this card it's so bad um next turn i can go with uh, a lot of stuff i even have the war wild but stalwart is amazing so i think i will go with that yeah then we can go with another fortified outpost and she'll cover the front line so that he isn't able to break through and shoot 8 damage at the end of the turn these are disgusting, very strong card very very strong card ok last game drop all because uh, none of this stuff is actually gonna help us against the Sig Sigismund so drop a turret then we have uh, supply lines and hopefully we can draw the in this matchup I would love generally to have a, a 6 energy Gunfried since I don't know if I am able to stick something on the board I really want the, um, the war weld By the way, I <laughs> played once Arcamus and once the Gunfried, and I think that uh, I did not play Arcamus at all this game. Three Bastions. But I don't care because I can't take him out with uh, the Varkosh Wirewild. Stone Gauntlet is useless, so this was uh, in a very good uh, package, but was a very useless card. So you have to balance, you cannot have too many cards like this. It's too situational for it to be good, in events at least. Now this is annoying and I can't take this out because he is going to be a frontline. And he swings. And I could swing back, but I'm actually going to do um, another thing. I'm going to drop this, make a turret and make another turret. And do not swing, because if he wants to take it this out, uh, he is going to struggle. Or take 5. He drops a lot of stuff and actually swings with the Oztrak support and uh, take 5 to the face. Terminators are okay. Not great, not bad. We actually want to kill the second turret, and then uh, we are going to make another turret. And now uh, he no longer has his special card. This is annoying, uh, because it's very bulky. But yeah, he's gonna take out the Terminators. And now um, uh, we drew the Outpost, which is very nice. We can actually Retribution, Outpost, and kill this. Okay, and then we should take damage. Even if he takes uh, the outpost uh, down, I 
well this is actually very unfortunate I wanted to take the Ozrak support out And I think that he surrenders again and the game just doesn't recognize it and uh, goes on like this. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. It was kind of a different, uh, a different kind of, the, of videos from uh, what I make usually. So I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will do my review of Sister of Silence tomorrow. So uh, check out the channel and uh, give me a feedback. See you guys next time.